Good evening to everyone, and it's a great pleasure to be here with you tonight, dear Madame Rajavi. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to be here with you and to have this speech in front of so many people, so many important people all around the world that really support Iran um, and the state that is really feeling right now. Um, it's a pleasure uh, to take part in this transatlantic summit on Iran policy. I followed carefully the fruitful discussion so far, and I am glad to see that people have joined this summit from all over the world. While touching some of the most important issues, one most of these sensitive issues uh, for all of us, like human rights, freedom, democracy, and justice. And Iran is actually one of the best examples of a country which fights every day, uh, every single day for all of these matters. It is unacceptable what has happened to Iran people through these years, executions, tortures, um, violation of human rights. Thus we stand very determined on the side of the Iran people. And Albania is a country which has opened the doors and created a home for many of the Mujahideens who are seeking still for their voice to be heard around the world and for their real truth to be recognized to all of us. Um, I'm one of those people who have visited their home. I have one, I'm one of those people who have visited before Madame Rajavi, uh, and I really support what she's doing for Iran, for her people. I am really surprised and I really feel her love for her country. Uh, and I appreciate this, I truly appreciate this. I think it is time for the international community as well, um, like Albania did, to respond with concrete measures to this regime, which is a dangerous, not only for Iran itself, but it's actually a real danger for the region over there and for the world. We call on the UN as well to investigate the 1988 uh, massacre, as there is need to hold accountable the people over there who did this massacre for Iran people. Um, there is a need to end impunity. The international community should also take actions to stop the executions of political prisoners in Iran. This is a regime which kills the opposition, the different voices, it kills the truth in order to stay in power. And we believe that a regime change is, only, is the only hope for Iranian people to be able to live and build their future in their own country, in their own home. Iran is a wonderful country, is a rich country, which deserves a government that works for the people and not for itself. Thank you very much. God bless Iran. God bless Iran people. Very, very well said. Okay, right now we want